What's up everybody? Hope you all are having a Merry Christmas. I just wanted to drop this quick video for you. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, debate on whether or not the Jeep 2.8 is the same as the GM 2.8. Um, they are both made by the same manufacturer, the Viamatories, but um, there are some differences and I'm about to show you one of them. Uh, on my last video, I was talking about making custom valves and uh, just because I couldn't find the stock GM valves out there uh, for sale um, that were in stock anyway. They are for sale, but you can't really get them. Um, so when somebody dropped a comment, it's like, why don't you try using the 2.8 uh, Jeep parts valves? And I was like, okay, well, that's a good idea. So I bought some. Um, I did get some off of eBay, actually. Um, this is the exhaust valve. This is the intake valve. And then I bought new valves because um, you can get new valves um, brand new for the Jeeps um, but this is a brand new valve I did buy a whole set off eBay for like 50 bucks or whatever um, but I just bought those just in case to um, verify the sizes but anyway I'm going to show you what I found out um, first thing is going to be the valve head diameter so um, as far as the Jeep goes um, the first, the intake valve is going to be, I did measure all these and I would show you that, but it's a pain to get this thing to focus on this. But um, just trust me that I did measure all this stuff. This is not the best quality stuff, but this will give you, um, you know, within a couple thousands accuracy. At least it'll tell you the difference between them. But the Jeep intake valve is 1.281 inches in diameter. So that's the head of the valve and then the exhaust valve is one one point two one eight so pretty similar sizes but um, that's typical diesel as the valves are almost the same size as far as the GM valves go the GM intake valve is a one point two fifty five and the exhaust valve is a 1.155. So just looking at those numbers, you're like, oh, the, the Jeep valve is better. That's a bigger valve. You can drop those in, and it'll be um, be better suited for it, or better for a performance application. Like, yeah, that's technically that's not wrong, um, but that's not the only difference between these valves. Um, you can obviously tell that there's a material difference. Um, this exhaust valve, as I don't know exactly what it's made of. It's obviously a stainless valve. Pretty sure all these are stainless valves. Now that I'm looking at it, or uh, from the research that I've done, uh, most modern valves, anything that was made from, you know, 99, 2000 uh, afterwards, and almost all vehicles are stainless. But this one obviously has a higher nickel content. I'm not going to tell you that it's an Inconel valve or anything, but um, it's definitely a higher quality, better material valve. Um, the stock Viamatori valve, or I'm sorry, Jeep valve, these are both Viamatori valves, but um, is not. These are cleaned up this is as best as I can get it. Um, this is a two-piece valve. You can tell it was welded right around the middle here. So even on the brand new valve, you can tell it was welded. It also has a heat treat on the seat as well. But the major difference, the problem that uh, the problem that um, these valves run these Jeep valves in a Duramax head is the length of the valve. So I will tell you that the intake and exhaust are the same length on both of for the intake and exhaust for both these motors. So I'm not going to bore you with measuring each one of them, but for the Jeep motor, the length is going to be 4,295 total overall length. And then the Jeep or uh, GM valve is 4,242. So as you can tell, the Jeep valve is almost 50 thousandths longer overall length. And then the second problem with this is the tip height. So if you look at the tip of this valve, 
the tip right here between the top groove for the keeper and the tip of the valve. And then if you look at the GM valve, the top of the groove, or the top groove to the tip of the valve, the GM valve is 50 thousandths greater. There's more distance there. You can tell that this is a little bit longer here than this one. So since this valve is already 50 thousandths longer, and then the groove height is 50 thousandths higher as well, that makes the groove height, you can tell that the groove height on this valve is 50 thousandths tall, or is 100 thousandths taller overall, even though the valve is only 50 thousandths longer than this, than this valve. I hope that makes sense. But the problem you run into that is the valve springs. So your installed height for both these motors is the same. It's 1.5 inches. But if the valve, if you put this valve in a Duramax head, now your installed height is going to be 1.6 inches because this valve is a hundred thousandths longer. So you got to make that up somewhere. And usually you can make it up with shim in the spring. You can put shims underneath the bottom of the uh, of the spring at the bottom here where the valve seats or the valve spring sits. Uh, they make shims that you can stack this up and change the rates and all that stuff. These are the two springs for each motor. I know the free height is different, but this spring is much stiffer than this one. Um, but at the same installed height of 1.5 inches, these both have the same seat pressure. It's about 58 pounds. Open pressure is also the same. So it's about 81, I believe, um, open pressure, which isn't much. It's not a whole lot. These springs are small, but that is, you can't shim this up a hundred thousandths. <laughs> There's nobody makes a shim for that. You'd have to stack shims. And then when you start stacking shims, um, you start creating issues where, you know, a shim could fall out or break or whatever could happen. And you don't want to be messing with that kind of problem when it comes to valve train. So a good thing you could do is get a valve seat, a uh, valve spring seat. And that's just a hundred thousand sticker and try that. But You'd have to have one custom made because those aren't off the shelf, especially in this size and this diameter. These are real small. So this is only like 800 thousandths across. So basically that is the differences between the Jeep and the GM motor. So yes, they are made by the same manufacturer. And yes, they do share a lot of similarities. Even the, the valve stem size, they're all six millimeter valves. So yeah, they are the same size, but I the head is different. I don't have an actual Jeep cylinder head to tell you the specifics of the difference between the cylinder head. But as far as the valves are concerned, these are the numbers and uh, they could interchange and I'm going to try to use these valves, but um, it all depends upon what kind of springs I can find to fit. I can switch to a, a spring that has an installed height of 1.6 inches and that should fix the issue, but trying to find one that at that installed height, at this diameter, with the spring pressure I need, um, there's not a whole lot of options out there. So, anyway, just wanted to drop this quick video for you guys and and show you what I've come up with in the past week. So, um, hope you're having a merry Christmas. If you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them below, and I will do my best to answer those. Thanks.